Hello guys, welcome to the ninth part of the series on graph. Hope you all are doing great. Please like the video and for more videos, subscribe to the channel. As we post regularly, press the bell icon so that you do not miss out any upcoming videos. So let's get started. Today we will discuss what is a minimum spanning tree and how to find it. The Wikipedia defines a minimum spanning tree or a minimum weight spanning tree is a subset of the edges of a connected, edge-weighted, undirected graph that connects all the vertices together without any cycle and with the minimum possible total edge weight. The three important words in this definition are connected, weighted and undirected. We can find a minimum spanning tree with the algorithm we are about to discuss only for the graphs which are weighted, undirected and connected. For unweighted graph, we can assume the weight of all the edges to be the same. Minimum spanning tree for directed graph is something new and we briefly talked about it at the end of the video. So do watch till the end. Before we jump to algorithm, let's see what is a minimum spanning tree. Suppose we have this simple graph and we need to find the minimum spanning tree for the graph. We can have multiple spanning trees for it. There are two widely popular algorithms used in order to find a minimum spanning tree of a graph. The first one is Prim's algorithm which we will be discussing in this video. The second is Kruskal's algorithm which we will cover in the next video. Let's take this undirected weighted and connected graph and we need to find the minimum spanning tree for the same. Like any previous algorithm, we will use distance table. But here, instead of showing the data in the table, let's see graphically how the spanning tree gets constructed. Then you can start developing your own logic and cross verify the result. So we'll start with a new vertex. Let's start with a for now. From a, we can reach b and c. The weight of each edge becomes the distance between the two vertices. We need to compare the two edge weights and select the one that is minimum. So we selected vertex C and then from C we can reach B and D. Now B has two widths, 2 and 4. And as we are finding the minimum spanning tree, we take the minimum of it and use 2. We then compare all the weights of the unvisited edges and select the minimum. So we use B and reach E. At the end, as both weights are same, we process them in order. And then we get this as final minimum spanning tree. You can see how the graph is connected with edges of minimum weight. Before we jump to code, I would suggest you to create an algorithm by yourself. You can always come back and verify. Now let's see the code. For the graph discussed, this is the code which we need in order to find the minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. We will start with creating the graph. We will have 5 vertices and the start vertex is 0 which is nothing but an integer representation of A. Here the adjacency list will be a pair of two integers where first value is the vertex and second is the weight of the edge between the two vertices. We will create the adjacency list for the graph and once that is done, we will initialize our two arrays path and distance of size equal to the number of vertices. We will then fill the distance array with pair of vertex and distance as 1 and updating the distance for the start vertex to 0 and path to itself. We will also initialize a MST set array to store the vertex which are included in the minimum spanning tree. We will then initialize our priority queue with a custom comparator and add the start vertex pair into it. We will traverse till the queue is not empty. And here we update the queue with new vertex only if the vertex is not already in MST set and the distance is less than the old distance. At the end, we print the result of edges which are needed in order to create the minimum spanning tree. When we run the code, we get this as output, which are the edges included in the minimum spanning tree. Try the code and optimize it further. The time complexity is O of V square without using heaps and O of E log V when binary heap is used. At the start of the video, we talked about how different it is to find the minimum spanning tree in a directed graph. Now it's time to talk about it. We cannot find a minimum spanning tree of a directed graph using Prem's or even Kruskal's algorithm. This problem is called Arbosin's problem and can be solved using Edmund's algorithm. That's something for now you to explore. 
This brings us to the end of the video. Do try to code it by yourself and let me know your experience in the comments. Would love to hear them. Also, for any query or issue, comment below. Next, we will see finding the minimum spanning tree using Kruskal's algorithm. Don't miss out. Keep learning, keep coding. See you in the next one.